Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and welcome to another episode of PSVR News. This one is pretty short, this is just one topic, but it is such an important topic that I said, listen, I'm going to make a video just about this uh, because this is one of those big, super exciting things. So first of all, let me just say that this was found by a guy over on the, uh, I think it's the Oculus subreddit, so let me just check to make sure. Yeah, so this came from or slash Oculus by a guy called ArtHandsVR, he discovered this LinkedIn listing. I'm going to just read out the listing. So this post comes from Video Games Deluxe. Now if you're wondering who the hell are Video Games Deluxe, you might remember these guys as the ones who made the LA Noir VR case files. So that port and the, the translation over to virtual reality was handled by these guys. They're a Sydney based company down in down under mate. And I believe they also did the port just to current gen, the flat version of an LA Noir from PS3 to PS4, we'll say. I think they were behind that too, not 100% sure on that, but they definitely did the VR case files. So let me just read out this list in from two weeks ago, so very recent. So they said, having finished the critically well-received LA Noir, the VR case files, we are now gearing up for a new project, a triple A open world title in virtual reality for Rockstar. 2020 marks our seventh year of working exclusively for Rockstar in Sydney and we are excited to taking on this groundbreaking project. I think they like had a bit of a typo there. It should be we are excited to be taking on this groundbreaking project. Uh, Video Games Deluxe, feel free to hire me if you're reading this or watching this I should say. I'll make all your posts for you, okay? Don't worry about it. We have a number of job openings in our Sydney studio including senior programmers, engine programmer, designer and animator if you are interested in one of these positions or would like to speak to someone who works here about video games deluxe please get in touch so I don't think I have to explain why that's so exciting and triple a open world virtual reality game being made by these guys for Rockstar so we're talking about Rockstar going balls deep now, so many questions, like, is this an original thing? Will this be like uh, LA Noir 2? You know, like a completely separate original IP or, or you know, maybe a sequel to something that already exists except into virtual reality. So like maybe Bully 2, could that be a virtual reality game? Of course, there's a lot to consider in terms of what they already have that they could port over to VR. We talk, obviously, we're talking about Grand Theft Auto 5. That's like the most blatant one. So many people want a GTA in virtual reality. It might be the most requested thing. I could be streaming a game. Someone will pop in saying, man, I wish GTA was in virtual reality. And then they pop off and I never see them again. But that's what they think. And that's a big kind of common sentiment out there. Now, of course, there's also Red Dead Redemption. Uh, particularly Red Dead Redemption 2, which is such a highly detailed world where you can interact with a bunch of things. That would translate so good into virtual reality as well. So, you know, it's all up in the air. There's no more clues than that as far as I know. But, AAA virtual reality, open world, Rockstar backed game. But they're just gearing up for it now, so that's important too. They're just starting to hire people for it. So it's probably a few years away. If it does come to PlayStation Virtual Reality, you would imagine it'll be a PS5 game. Fingers crossed, I don't want to be held back by the PS4. And of course, there's the possibility it's just PC only, uh, which will be disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. It happened with LA Noir Case Files. It came to PC first, and then it was a few months later. Uh, maybe it was more than months. It could have been. It was a good while. They had it before it was finally ported to PS Viewer. And we finally got our hands on this. And they did do a good job. That game was a really nice port of a PC game over to PSVR. So you can only imagine with the PS5 hardware instead of the PS4 hardware, all of a sudden a GTA 5 port becomes more possible. A Red Dead Redemption port of some kind, even if it's the first one, becomes way more possible. So yeah, super exciting news. Of course, let's get speculating. That's all we can do at this stage, but what game are you wanting to see? You know Rockstar have such a huge library. They've got the GTAs, the Red Deads, Midnight Club, Bully. Max Payne, there's all these games, all these IPs that they have, there's probably more than I'm forgetting about. Any one of those could be turned into a virtual reality title, or possibly even more interestingly, they could build something from scratch just for VR, a brand new IP, something that will blow our minds away, you know? So let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. And that'll be it for this episode of PS VR News, very short like I said, but before I go, let me give a big thank you to my Patreon supporters whose names are on the screen as we speak. Thanks to their generosity, they're helping this channel continue to grow and expand. And in particular, let me give a shout out to the top tier Patreons, Crumb, 
Pete Hawkins, Columbus Thomas III, Tradition, and Mr. Chopped 517. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for that support. I really do appreciate this. All that's going towards the PS5 so I can continue covering virtual reality that Sony is putting out for hopefully years to come. If you want to support me on Patreon, the link will be in the description below. But if not, don't worry. You can just give me a like or a subscribe or something like that and I'll be just as happy with that too. I would appreciate that very much. And finally, before I go, let me thank Decepticon for his music and always allowing me to use his music on this channel. Thank you very much, Decepticon. You can check him out over on Decepticon.com. Link to that will be in the description too. And he's available to check out on Spotify, Bandcamp, all these kind of places and so that is it for this video lads and ladies thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one stay moist